Yo, what's going on guys, and I'm here. I'm actually at the library. I've been at the library since two in the morning studying. I have a bunch of finals that are tomorrow and final projects due today. Hectic. So I've been awake for a few hours and I saw John Morant is doubtful to return for the series. It's been announced, Taylor Jenkins said, it's very doubtful we see him again this series. And he also included note that yes, this bone bruise is on the right knee, which was the same right knee he experienced soreness at the end of the season, which he missed an extended period of time. But the bone bruise is not related to the soreness of the right knee. Now, bone bruise. A bone bruise is exactly what it sounds like. A bone bruise is similar to a bruise that you get on your hand, but instead of it being on the surface of your skin, this is on the surface of your legitimate bone. And this makes the bone from my understanding, I'm not a doctor, I'm a journalism major, this is just from my research, it makes the integrity and the structure of the knee more susceptible to severe injuries. And that is why he's not playing. Can he play on a bone bruise? Yes, but it depends on the swelling. Again, I don't know the measurement of the swelling, but it's basically between 15 and 30 is the max amount of pressure with whatever the measurement of pressure it is measured with that it should be allowed, okay? If most players, if they have over 20 of this amount of fluid, like 20, let's say, grams of fluid floating around their knee when it's swollen, they won't usually play. I just queued up the toilet because I'm over here clearly in a stall. Gonna have to edit that out. But with that being said, it, it's very obvious that John Morant is experiencing swelling in the knee. And the reason he is not playing is A, because the bone bruise has weakened the, the integrity and the structure of the knee making. He's more susceptible to injury. And he won't need surgery as of right now, but he is experiencing swelling. And from my research, I need to figure out what the measure of units they use to measure the amount of fluids in. But basically, you can play with up to 20, let's say, grams of fluid in your knee. Now, if you have anything more than that, most doctors will not let you play without having that knee drain or just let you play in general because you should not have that much fluid in your knee. So that is when they talk about the bone bruise is why he won't be playing. Now, Ty Jones look good. And I think the Warriors can lose, like without John ja Morant in there, they've been able, you know, Brandon Clark's had a great playoff series, but Jared Jackson Jr., Brandon Clark, and Steven Adams were able to feast with, you know, Ty Jones and, Desmond Bain and Dylan Brooks, Zaire Williams, and the rest of the guys just basically acting as floor spacers that let the big guys, even Jaron Jackson Jr. will shoot threes, but Stephen Adams and Brandon Clark were just going in, just doing work on the inside. So that's basically the video for me, guys. I want to hear your thoughts down below if you guys agree with me. But bam, John Moran is gone for a while. And I hope he does come back because I love the guy. So I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. As always, put peace out.